Okay, so we have Bup versus Niru. So these are two players that, like, I haven't... Well, Niru, I've actually tutored and tr and trained, so... They're raring to go here. And Bup... Um, not a new player, as you can probably already tell with this chaining. But he definitely has a lot to... A long way to go. A long way to go, but obviously he is not a... He does show a lot of potential right here. Um, so you can already tell that he has a 3 chain that didn't really interrupt any of his Puyos from the chain itself. Um, but Niru, unfortunately, already seen that. So they are going to get a 7 chain, but Bub could be getting a... Oh, if that blue actually didn't, cut, actually didn't cut there, then it would have been probably better for them. But a three, but honestly, with a lot of garbage that he got, that was probably the best possible outcome. Um, so, well, in that scenario, anyways. Um, he does, however, opt to not um, transition with the yellows instead, so he will be taking a little bit of a time loss here. Of course, he does get a 5, though, but that gives no one garbage, so they were perfectly even that time. Wow, Wowzers. <laughs> I don't like saying Wowzers that much, but I said it. Because th that match was just so... E okay. I was wondering if he was going to put that there, but... that As far as it was a double red, he did have to just chain it the way it was. Um, Nero could be either evenly distributing this, or just getting one... Okay, that's just about as even as it could have gotten there. Okay, and a sneaky 4 chain from up here. But of course, Niru has a power 3 here. So that is going to even up the scores just a little bit, and we haven't even started, and we haven't even, like, gotten a point on the board yet. Like, come on. <laughs> when is enough enough, you know? <laughs> That's okay, I like watching back and forth Puyo like this. At this level. But Kalevo, you know, it's exciting still, but it, the sauce is definitely here with like the lower levels because they kind of just be cooking. I don't even consider this low level. Like, this would be at least advanced for both players as well. But see, it took two and a half minutes for the first match to be decided, so you're gonna see, you're probably gonna see a lot of back to backs here, so we're shopped in for the long call for this uh, VOD. My only regret that I didn't get to see this live, but, you know, I'm only one streamer. We had multiple streams, but I don't think anyone was streaming this, um, this group, so. Luckily, someone did get the replays for those, because I think I'm going to do some fancy work for the Iron Bracket. I had someone do, get, like, the semifinals and, like, I think the early rounds, but none of the finalists did, like, give me a replay of, like, the grand finals of Iron Bracket, so I'm going to have to... I really hope that the one that hasn't responded to me actually answers my DMs and uploads it, but aside from that, um, yeah, because there is an iron bracket, but all I have are, you know, I don't have the grand finals for those. I have grand finals for every other bracket but this one, because the fourth that was supposed to stream that, um, they had an emergency at the last minute, so they couldn't show. Which is unfortunate, but we didn't really have time to go search for another one, so we just stick with our three. Um, so I see players that use GTR use um, both GTR in that order sometimes, and I honestly don't do that. I probably should start doing that, but I kind of just don't. <laughs> one of these days I will, but right now I'm watching someone else do it, and it's just awesome. Um, but Bub seems to be ready to go on his chain, Seem looking to aim for a little bit more here to get himself on the board. Um, could be using some greens though. It could be a 10 chain, but with Nero, Nero's chains are a lot more freestyle heavy. So, oh, it's not going to be a 10, a tower 10 though. So that's going to be Nero's first defeat giving Bup uh, one point on the board, but again, took almost a minute for that match to resolve too. So, again, we could be seeing some really heavy gameplay here. So, 
So Nero's kind of already finished with their with their chain, and then Bup, not well. He just not finished, but now faces an adversary of blues and reds. He will have to sacrifice a little bit of this um, in order to get a better shot at the transition. Um, and if, and they also do a little bit of oh yeah, that's a oh don't uh wait. Never mind, it's not gonna break, but that is not gonna outchain Nero, I believe. I think the buff needed a little bit more links here. And a little bit more time to settle all that. So that's gonna be a 3 1 in Nero's favor. Nero, or Nero, 1 or 2. Okay, um, a little bit cookie, motor, cookie cutter mode there, but not anymore. Um, Nero's chain trigger does seem to be a little bit higher than Bup's, so Bup could take that advantage to set off some chains or set off like a harassment that covers it. Um, but chose not to do that. Their column 2 power was covered, so they will have to transition a little bit higher in order to set off their chain. Um, could have gone for like a power, for like a little quick power there, but I think I see why they didn't do it, because Nero's chain was already ready to be launched here. Um, it's going to result in a 9 though, but Nero had popped a lot of Puyos in their 9 chain, so their chain could just be short, even though it does match. Yeah, no, the moon's still there, so not the, not quite there. The same chain link, but you need to pop a lot more Puyos than that, so probably could have done with slowing down Nero earlier, so that way Nero didn't reach their chain as quick as he did. Um, here's round 6, I believe, if I can count, yep. Um, once again, Nero's chains are, they're not bad, but they're a little bit, that they're a lot more unorthodox than usual because they're a little, you know, they're more freestyle heavy, so. But that is going to be a weird way to work around the yellows there, because they need the yellows to actually trigger the chain um, to access the rest of the transition, so I wonder what they're going to do about that. Um, that's one way to deal with it. If that extra Puyo fell in column 3, then that would have been the game really saying, yeah, this needs to not happen. <laughs> but it looks like Nero- oh no, they didn't fix it, so Nero would have to actually backtrack and fix their chain before Bup's chain's revolves. Um, because popping that yellow is just gonna break the transition even more. And that's gonna put Bup right back on the board with 2-4, closing the gap. It's not closed just yet, but it is closing it. Um, let's see, round 3. Oh my gosh, Bup, you missed the all clear? He probably just re realized that instead of just hard chaining for a GTR. Um, game's not punishing him just yet, or Nero isn't punishing them just yet, but they could be punishing him right now with literally just a one chain, but they think they're greeting it up here, um, but decided not worth the greed, so just to set off their three chain all clear. Put Bub at pretty much an even board. But not for long, as Nero is going to be sending a little bit more garbage alongside that. Putting Bup at a really huge advantage right now, but Bup is not out of it just yet. Um, he is going to be playing a little bit of excavation mode to really dig the back down here. Um, Nero probably going for a Hellfire with those yellows if they get them. Um, but Ops to just set off the chain, um, which is again, not a bad strategy. Or they could be getting a dick chain that, not the most powerful chain, but it is going to be powerful enough to stop up in the tracks of digging down, widening the gap back to 5-2. And now we have the next round here. Let's see, we have a little bit of a weird trench or base for the GTR. Weird the shape and I want to call it the C base, but I think there's like an actual official name for it. But either way, Bub get rid that transition, that, uh, that exchange hands down, putting Nero at a near disadvantage. But of course, Nero is always down but not out. Um, 
Let's see, a one chain for Nero, giving Bub a little bit of time to think about what he's done. Um, if Bub can actually get another Pleo in column four here, he actually could have gotten a little bit of more power to work with here. And as you can see, he's going to be using that power here. So let's put Nero at it. Oh, okay. They were kind of they were kind of in the sus spot there, but that's gonna blip, blip, close the gap here a little bit. Not fully closed yet. Another win in the map. Map uh, the map. The gap will be fully closed, but as of right now, still just a one inch gap right now for a bup here. But like I said, I feel like we're in for kind of a wild ride here. Um, Nero. Um, once again, the freestyle chaining. Might be biting them kind of in the rear end here as they are chaining decently well, but the le but the weird color decisions are kind of forcing them to take these small de uh, detours in their chains. Um, but does get lucky with the with the green blue, so that will be their whole chain being set off. I don't see any cutting happening, but that is a two power for the ten chain, so a double ten at the end. For, not at the very end, but like a chainer before, so that's gonna give Nero a match point. So Bub will have to step it up here if he wants to secure this win, or at least contest for it. Because right now the GTR is looking a little bit broken right now. Again, not the worst. It's not the worst way to be starting off GTR, but it is noticeably a little. Well, in my experience, it noticeably a little bit um, weaker, but. Of course, GTR is GTR, so if you can figure it out, then you're still good. Um, weird way to transition with the L shape transition with the um, greens there. That's not really give you too much to really like go off of in the chain. Um, but Nero only has an eight chain, so maybe Bub can power this out. It looks like he could barely get it. Okay, he's not he is at a disadvantage, but he's definitely definitely not out of it If you can get enough greens in column three and then make some sort of crazy power chain here. I can see him bringing this back Okay, he goes for a plus one on that power chain and Successfully so as Nero was going to be the one in his advantage here and Bup is sitting pretty with just one more Puyo needed in column three and going the extra distance just to get a decent. Ooh, okay, if that garbage fell in column three, that would have been a big slap in the face, but that is not the tap to work here. Bup gets the really deserved five here, putting Nero at a pretty, you know, still a good position, but kind of uncomfortable position here as he, as he is going to get his fourth point on the board. Okay, and now both players are making up their chain, so Bup does have the does have the sauce to come back to this but you know it's gonna take a lot of like good good code decisions less um fatal splits um just like that could actually work over there on bup side Nero also seems to struggle finding some reds there but jinx myself into getting into um making reds appear here um ending the, ending the drought a little bit but once again Nero deciding maybe the red shots telling me that I should probably extend here. So making sure they extend. Giving Bup oh that snipe though. That's gonna give Nero a 7-4 over Bup. So a lot of questionable colored placements slash color reasonings from Bup, but in the end, still did pretty decent. 4-7 I'd say is not that bad.